Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Letter says EU members underestimate huge risk of UK exit. EU says it will start free trade negotiations with US next week despite surveillance scandal. Debit and credit card users could face increased charges under EU plans. EU officials 2,500 jobs to go in austerity deal. Plus, does anyone in Britain actually know how the EU rebate works? I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, Italian Prime Minister Enrico Letta said the chances of the UK leaving the European Union are being underestimated by members who should start planning now for the changes needed to keep the group intact. In the European Union countries, we are under evaluating the risks in two, three years of having the UK out of Europe, Letta said today in a question and answer conversation at Chatham House in London. It's a huge risk. UK Prime Minister David Cameron and his Conservative Party are pushing for a referendum on EU membership. Letter, in his third month as Premier, described himself at Chatham House as a committed pro-European. The European Union confirmed Tuesday that free trade negotiations with the United States should kick off as planned next week, despite widespread concerns over the alleged eavesdropping of EU diplomats. The Commission, the EU's unelected executive branch, leads the negotiations on behalf of its 28 members, said the planned start of talks in Washington next Monday should not be affected by the surveillance scandal that has emerged in recent days. However, it insisted that the transatlantic atmosphere needed to clear up for the talks to be successful. For such a comprehensive and ambitious negotiation to succeed, there needs to be confidence, transparency and clarity among the negotiating partners, it said in a statement. The talks are likely to take at least a few years. Mr Wagner warned banks were likely to use similar creative means to claw back losses, including through charging higher fees for using cards. Debit and credit card users could face increased charges under EU plans expected to be outlined later this month, it has today been claimed. It is feared the move could signal the end of free banking. It comes as it has been reported customers could also be charged for using cash machines and their accounts as banks tried to claw back £2.4 billion in losses. The plans due to be announced by the European Commission this month are expected to either limit or cut completely the fees which retailers have to pay banks for each card transaction. Two thousand five hundred EU officials are set to lose their jobs in the next four years as part of new austerity measures for EU institutions. Under the deal announced on Friday by MEPs and ministers, the job cuts, which represent a five percent reduction of staff across the fifty EU institutions and agencies dotted around Europe, will be imposed gradually between two thousand and thirteen and two thousand and seventeen. Meanwhile, remaining staff will see a two-year pay and pension freeze alongside a small increase to the minimum working week from 37.5 hours to 40 hours. Story 5 in 3, 2, 1. I once gave a talk at a high-level seminar on UK media and the EU, Attended by various British and European commentators and journalists, they weren't exactly natural sun readers, if you get my drift. After about an hour of complaining from the participants about how ill-informed the UK media was about Europe, I posed a simple question. Can somebody in this room please explain to me how the UK rebate from the EU budget works? Nervous laughter, awkward silence, then the attempt at explanation. (laughs) No one got it right. Today in our video library, we take a look at the recent announcements by the OECD with regard to employment forecasts for the Eurozone to 2014. 
The Economist investigates the parameters at play and demonstrates that the outlook is pretty grim. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below.